subject of the media. Your clip from Frankie Boyle, uh, your interview you did with Frankie Boyle went, um, went viral. Yeah. It was good, but I have a little bit of a bone to pick uh, with it. I, I think um, we'll just, should we just get this out of the way? Um, roll VT, boys. What, what would you say people should do, George, if they well, do uh, one thing? Uh, I mean what we have to do is a big structural political economic stuff. You know, what, what we're being told to do is change your cotton buds and all these sort of pathetic micro consumerist bollocks, which just isn't going to get us anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> They, they won't be inviting me back in a hurry. <laughs> Have you heard of the Switch the Stick campaign? No. No. Okay. <laughs> uh, <is this> <laughs> I got, I got some friends in the room. All right. No, uh, so, so my organisation, City to See, were behind the Switch the Stick campaign where we got all of the supermarkets in the UK to stop making cotton buds out of plastic. <laughs> 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 oh, God. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Has, has, has stopped, yeah, has stopped um, <laughs> over 400 tonnes of non-recyclable single-use plastic at source every year. And, um, and, and plastic <laughs> on... Uh, pl I'm just going to milk this. Plastic on, on, uh, plastic on UK beaches from our toilets has actually dropped a quarter uh, since, since the campaign. Um, so... <laughs> And credit, credit to the other NGOs as well that are, uh, have been banging the drum on that. So, I mean, I think, like, um, I, I'm obviously I'm going to challenge that. I think that, that plastic has been, for many people, a gateway to environmental issues and has, has shown people that actually we can affect change. And I think for so long people had been feeling quite powerless um, and around climate change perhaps it feeling less tangible, but with plastic it's something we're feeling every day. Yeah. And, and we are, and we do need to challenge, like you say, the, the predicted growth of the plastics industry, which is set to triple by 2050 um, in terms of its share of global oil use. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I would say um, Cotton Buds is a, is a good place to start. <laughs> All right. OK, so, so what I'd say to this is, uh, yeah, of course, yeah, we should do that stuff as well. But what I was complaining about there, and I should... Um, point out that I'd just recently watched Blue Planet Live, so I was yes. steaming about this. <laughs> and this was my chance on the BBC to, yeah. to, um, to have a swipe at it all. It's that this stuff becomes a substitute for the structural change which is required. And boy, do I know enough people who say... <laughs> who say, well, you know, I've changed my cotton buds, I use recyclable toilet paper, um, I, I recycle my bottles. And you say, yeah, but what about that holiday you're about to take to Thailand? Well, I'm green. It's all right. You know, so, so I mean, this is how it is. You, you yeah. know, that people... Uh, there was, uh, my friend George Marshall pointed me to this extraordinary thing where uh, it was in this local newspaper where this couple had collected so many um, recycling vouchers from Tesco. Tesco had this scheme that they used it um, they, uh, Tesco allowed them to trade it for air miles so they could fly to the Caribbean for a holiday. <laughs> and and, and the, the point I'm trying to make is, yeah, you know, I try to do all this stuff as well. You know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm trying to be a more ethical consumer. But actually, as consumers, we are largely powerless. There are one or two things we can do which do make a very big difference. Stop flying, number one. Switch to a plant-based diet, number two. Leave your car behind, number three. You know, these things are pretty major. They, they do make a big difference. But actually, the really big difference is the structural, political, economic stuff. This is where societies change. This is where our impacts change. This is where we switch from being a consumerist society to a non-consumerist society, which is a switch that we make. And my concern is that green consumerism is just a way of extending consumerism. Yeah, the, the marketers and the advertisers are all over this like a rash. Because they can say, OK, you bought some really bad stuff, now you can buy some really good stuff on top of it. Yeah, and it's just, we're just buying more stuff. Yeah, and it doesn't matter, ultimately, I mean, it does matter, but it's only a few years of difference to the, to, uh, in your progress towards the cliff edge. 
as to whether it's plastic you're using or whether it's more paper, more cotton, whatever it might be. Because ultimately, it's the overall volume of material resource sure. use yeah. which is pushing us towards that cliff edge. Um, so, you know, yes, by all means, substitute it, but don't allow yourself to believe that that's going to solve the problem. That's going to slightly mitigate the problem. We have to solve the problem. And that means structural change. Ultimately, it means the end of capitalism.